Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make five really easy bookmarks. They're so fun to make and they'd be great gifts or useful for yourself. So let's go gather our supplies and we'll get started. So for supplies today, for all of the different bookmarks, I'm going to be using the 8-6 100% cotton in different colors. So they're all going to be cotton, um, and this is a size 2 yarn. And with that, I'm going to be using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. I do prefer to use a bit of a smaller crochet hook just because I find it looks cleaner and there's less spacing between the stitches, which I like. Um, but you can use any type of yarn and any type of crochet hook, whatever works best for you. We're also going to need a darning needle and a pair of scissors. So once we've gathered our supplies, we can get into it. All right, the very first uh, bookmark we're going to make is the heart bookmark. Now. We are going to be making our crochet hearts here. I do have a more in-depth tutorial on how to create a crochet heart. If you want to watch that video first, I will link it right here for you. Otherwise, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration on these hearts. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a magic ring. And all of our stitches are going to go inside the magic ring. So to start, we are going to place a double crochet. I'll just bring you in a little bit further here. So we're going to start with a double crochet. Just like that. Then we're going to do three triple crochets. So yarn over, insert, oh sorry, triple, so two yarn overs, insert, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we'll do that twice more for a total of three. Yarn over, pull through, and one more time. So three triples. Now we're going to do four double crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do a total of four. So two, three, four. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and that's one side of our heart complete. Now we're going to work back up the other side. So starting with four double crochets. So one, two, three, four, three triple crochets. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to do a double crochet. And the very last thing we're going to do is a slip stitch. Now we can pull our yarn here. Sorry, my slip stitch was all messed up there. So we're gonna pull our yarn. So I'm just going to cut my yarn here and I'm gonna yarn over and pull through that slip stitch there. And then I'm just going to continue to pull the center of the hearts till it is closed. 
And then I'm just going to pull down on my slip stitch and that's going to kind of bring down my center there. And there's one crochet heart completed. So just create one more heart and then we'll meet back here for the next step. All right, so once your heart is complete, I'm just quickly um, weaving in my ends. I kind of like to do it now so that I don't have to do it later. I don't know, I just find getting it over with is a little bit better. And the needle that I have here is a little bit big, so it just takes a little bit of finessing. And then just cut that. So now we have our two hearts completed. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to create a slip knot. So we're going to yarn or wrap our yarn around our finger and pull off to create our slip knot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our hearts and in the very um, tip where we created our two chains, we're going to uh, place our uh, slip knot here. So just insert there, yarn over, pull through and create a slip stitch just like that so that we're attached to the heart. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain 50. So yarn over, pull through, we're going to do that 50 times. So there is our chain 50. Now once we've chained 50, we're going to go back and grab the second heart here and we're going to do the same thing we did on the first. Right into the tip here, we're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through to create a slip knot, just like that. Now we're going to start working our way down, back down our chains. We're going to place a single crochet in each stitch all the way down. So, one, two, three, four, five and you're going to do this all the way down for all 50 chains until you reach the other side so just complete your single crochet all the way down and i'll meet you at the end all right so once we have completed all of our 50 single crochets we are just going to slip stitch right back into the um, point of the heart to finish that off and then we'll just cut our yarn and yarn over and pull that through. And there is your heart bookmark. Now we'll just um, weave in our ends with our darning needle, needle the same we did uh, for the heart. And then your heart bookmark is going to be all complete. There you go.
And there is your heart bookmark. All right, for the second bookmark, we are gonna be making this little flower with the leaf at the very end. So for this pattern, I'm going to be using some yellow yarn because I think it'd be nice to have a yellow bookmark. And to start off, we're gonna be making a magic ring. So we're gonna wrap our yarn, grab our hook, and make our magic ring. Now we are going to be making eight single crochets within the magic ring. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's one. So eight of those, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna close off our ring. And we are going to, into this very first stitch that we made, we're gonna place a slip stitch. Now I find this stitch is always the most difficult to get into, especially for me since I, am, I have very tight tension. So just take your time. So yarn over and pull through and then pull through again to create a little circle. All right, so once we have a secured with a slip stitch to the very first stitch, we are gonna start with our double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now in the same stitch, we're gonna place a triple crochet, so two yarn overs, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now we're going to into the same stitch again, we're going to place another double crochet. So just a double. And then lastly, into that very same stitch again, we're going to place a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And there's our first petal. Now we're gonna repeat that for each stitch around. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two for our first double crochet. Now a triple, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and a double again, and then a slip stitch into that same stitch, and there's two petals completed. So just complete that for all seven, so double crochet, triple crochet, double crochet, and a slip stitch for each petal. All right, so once we have completed seven of the petals, we're just going to make a little slip stitch into that final eighth stitch there. And we're going to cut our yarn. And yarn over and just pull that through. So that we have our little flower. Next, we're gonna grab some green yarn and we're gonna make a slip knot. And I'm going to attach the slip knot right to where our flower ended on that eighth um, chain, or eighth single, single crochet, sorry. 
and I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to place a slip stitch here just to attach my green yarn just like that so once we have our green yarn attached we are going to chain 46 so one two three four five six seven all the way to 46 So there is our 46 chains. Now at the very bottom of this pattern, we're gonna create a little leaf. So we're gonna skip this first chain here and into the second chain from your hook, you're gonna place one single crochet. So one single crochet. And then in the third from the hook, we're gonna place a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, through yarn over pull through all three then a double crochet in the next stitch then we're going to do three triple crochets same as how you did them for the petals into the next three chains that's two and three and then we're going to place a double crochet and into that same stitch you were in for the double crochet we're going to place a slip stitch now working on the other side we're going to place a double crochet three triple crochets one two and three and then a double crochet a half double crochet and a single crochet and then I just like to put a little slip stitch here in the top pull that through to finish off the point I'm going to cut my yarn and then I just yarn over and pull that through and that's going to create a little point there for me just like that and there's our little leaf so again we're just going to weave in our yarn ends and we will be all done our project Right, and there is our completed flower bookmark. All right, so for our next bookmark, we are going to be creating this leaf bookmark. It's so cute. It's probably one of my favorite ones. The little leaf stick out the top. 
super easy to do. So I'm going to take my green yarn here and to start I'm going to place, I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm using the same hook again. I'm going to be chaining 46. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just chain 46 and I'll meet you back here for the next step. All right, so once we have all 46 chains, we are going to be placing single crochets all the way along. We're gonna skip this very first stitch and we're gonna start working into the second stitch from your hook. We're gonna place a single crochet and we're just gonna continue all the way down along the side here to create a total of 45 single, single crochets and only 45 because we're skipping that first chain. So complete all 45 of your single crochets. So you should be all the way at the other end. And I will meet you back here for the next step. All right, so once we have completed our 45 single crochets, we're now gonna create the leaves at the top of our bookmark. So to create the leaves, we're gonna start off by chaining 11 from our very last stitch here. So we're just gonna yarn over and pull through for 11 chains. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Now we're going to skip the first stitch here and we're gonna place a single crochet in the second stitch. And then in the third, we're also gonna place a single crochet. Now we're gonna do two half double crochets in the next two chain stitches. So yarn over, insert yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, and one more in the next stitch. So that's two half double crochets. Now we're gonna place two double crochets in the next two stitches. So there's one and one more. Now we're going to do three triple crochets in the next three stitches. So yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Do two more of those. Sorry. There's one more. All right, and that is three. And then in this last chain, we're gonna place a double crochet. Now in that same chain that we just placed that double crochet, we're gonna place a slip stitch. And now we're gonna be working up the other side of our chain row. And we're gonna go the opposite of what we did, so it matches on the other side. So we're gonna start with a double crochet into this first chain. And then three triple crochets in the next three stitches. So there's one. Two. And three. And then two double crochets in the next two chains. two half doubles, and then 
into single crochets. And the last two spaces. And then a slip stitch into that same stitch. And we will cut our yarn. Yarn over and pull that through. And there's our first leaf. Now we're just going to create another slip knot for the other leaf. So create a slip knot and then we're just going to insert our slip knot where we want our second leaf to go, which is right beside the first. And we'll just place a slip stitch there. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on this other leaf. So chaining 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we'll just work our way down again. So single crochet, single crochet, half double crochet times two, double crochet times two, triple crochet times three, one, two, and three, And then a double crochet and a slip stitch into that same stitch and then moving on to the other side we're going to do a double crochet three triple crochets One, two, three, then two doubles. Two half doubles, one, two, single crochet, and a single crochet, slip stitch into that same stitch, cut our yarn, and over and pull through. And there are your two leaves and on your bookmark. So just weave in your ends and this bookmark is all done. All right, moving on to the next um, bookmark, we're going to make this straight 
a bookmark with a little tassel on the end. So to start, we're going to place, or sorry, we're going to make a slip knot. And from our slip knot, we are going to chain 41. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just chain 41, I'll meet you back here. All right, so once we have chained 41, we are going to be doing a combination of half double crochet in one stitch and a slip stitch in the next. And we're going to repeat this 20 times. So first we're going to skip this very first chain that we made, the very last one that we made, sorry. And into the second chain from the hook, we're going to place a half double crochet. <clears throat> so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. That's a half double crochet. Now in the next chain, we're going to place a slip stitch. So we're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through. Now we're going to repeat that combination 20 times all the way along. So yarn over, half double crochet, and then into the next stitch, we're going to place a slip stitch. Yarn over, half double crochet, and then in the next one, a slip stitch. So just complete this all the way along until the very end. And then we will meet at the very end for the next step. All right, so that is one row complete. Now to finish off one this row we're going to place a chain one and then we're going to turn our work now we're going to do the same pattern across one half double crochet and one slip stitch and they're going to land on the opposite so we ended with a slip stitch in this row and we're going to start with a half double crochet so that half double crochet is going to sit right on top of that slip stitch and we're going to repeat that all the way across again so we have completed rows one and two. Now for rows three and four, we're gonna do the same pattern of half double crochet and a slip stitch. So half double crochet and a slip stitch. Half double crochet and a slip stitch. So just do that all the way across for rows three and rows four, and then we'll meet back here for the next step. All right, so that is rows one through four completed. Now to finish off, we're just going to cut our yarn here. And we're just gonna yarn over and pull through. And then I'm just going to weave in my ends on this now. Just on the corners here, I'm just going to create a tiny knot. And then weave that in. So there is the base for our bookmark. Now we're gonna create the tassel. So to create the tassel, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut two strands of yarn, about 10 to 12 inches. Does not have to be exact or the same, but we're gonna use those. Now for the tassel, what we're gonna do is we're going to anchor our yarn with our thumb and our ring finger 
And we're just gonna wrap our yarn about 15 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you can wrap more for a fuller tassel or less. Um, you can also use a wider surface like a book if you want your tassel to be longer or whatever. Um, but I just like how short it is with your hand. So now we're going to just cut this yarn. And we're going to also cut the bottom of our yarn here. And this is what we're left with. Now I'm just going to place that down for a second and I'm going to set up my strands. So the very first thing we want to do is place our first strand of yarn up and down like this and we're going to take our um, strands and we're going to tie a knot. Now these strands are the ones we're going to use to attach to our bookmark. So we're just going to tie a knot here. Like that and that's going to stay up so that we can attach that to our bookmark. Now we're just going to bring the rest of these down and I'm going to now place our second strand of yarn and I'm going to place this right over top like that. Now just place your string wherever you want it to be tied off and we're just going to, again, tie a knot. You just want to make sure it's in the right spot for where you want it. So I'm just gonna tie a knot here. And then I'm just gonna wrap these around again. the front and then I'm going to tie another knot in the back. Just make sure it's really tight or you might find that your strings are going to come out. All right, so those tasks, those uh, strings that we use to tie on can just go down with the rest. And now we're just going to trim our tassel. So just trim it to whatever length you want it to be. I'm just going to trim mine here so that that's how, how long I have my tassel. And I'm just going to make this as even as I can. And there is our tassel. Now we're going to take our bookmark and our hook. And we're just going to choose an end. It doesn't matter which end. And we're going to stick our hook through this as center as you can get on the uh, top of your bookmark. And we're going to grab our tassel and we're going to grab both of the strands and we're going to pull them through just like this. Now you don't want to pull them all the way through. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your fingers through that hole and you're going to grab your tassel and you're going to pull that through. Now how long you want it from your bookmark that's going to be personal preference. So if that's how long you want it, you're going to pull these strands. If you want it longer, you'll pull the tassel strands. So that's probably about the space that I want between my tassel and the bookmark. So I'm just going to pull that tight and that's going to knot that right onto your bookmark. So once we have attached our tassel, we will just weave in these ends with our darning needle and we are done with this bookmark. So there is our tassel bookmark. All right, the very last bookmark we're gonna make is this rose bookmark. It's so, so pretty, very easy to make. 
And so let's get started. Now I do have a more in-depth rose tutorial. I will link it right here for you if you'd like to watch that. Um, so that's a little bit of a slower demonstration, but I am going to be going a little bit quicker through the rose demonstration. But that's what we're going to make first is the rose. So we're going to start off with a slip knot. And we're going to chain 52. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So chain 52 and I'll meet you back here. All right, so once we have chained 52, we will start on row two. So for row two, we're going to skip this very first chain, the second chain, and the third chain. And into the fourth chain, we're gonna place a double crochet. We're then gonna chain four and then a double crochet right back into that same chain. Now a double crochet, four chains over from where you're at. So one, two, three, so into this fourth chain here, another double crochet, chain four, two, three, four, and right back into that same space. We'll do this all the way across into the fourth, a double crochet, chain four, three, four, and a double crochet into that same stitch again. So for our very last one here, we'll do a double crochet, chain four, and another double crochet. And that is row two complete. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're gonna turn our work. Now we're gonna create our rose petals. So in the first chain space right here, our chain four space right here, we're gonna place 10 double crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, pull through. That's one. So we'll do 10 of these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now right below it, right here, this space, we're gonna place a slip stitch. So insert into that space, yarn over and pull through, just like that. And then we're going to chain two, one, two. Now into this next chain four space right here, we're gonna place another 10 double crochets. One, two, three, 
four. five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now into this one right below here, we're going to place a slip stitch and chain two. Now, you're gonna repeat this till you have seven of these double crochet petals. So there's two, so we have one, two, three, four, five more to go. For your double crochet petals, doing 10 double crochets with a slip stitch, 10 double crochet, a slip stitch, and so on, for a total of seven petals. Once you've reached seven petals of the double crochets, we will meet back here for the next step. All right, so we now have seven of our double crochet petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when finishing this last petal, we're gonna do the same thing, slip stitch into that space. Sorry, let's look here. Lost a double crochet. So slip stitch into that final stitch. And now here, instead of chaining two, we're going to chain one. Now into this next chain four space, we're going to place 10 half double crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Do that 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Insert, yarn over, pull through for a slip knot, chain one, slip stitch, sorry, and 10 more half double crochets in the next chain four space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slip stitch, chain one. And then one more time in that chain four space, we're gonna place 10 more half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now into this space below, we'll do our slip stitch, chain one, and then we should have three chain four spaces remaining. So next chain four space, we're gonna place 10 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slip stitch, chain one, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slip stitch, chain one, 
And then the last one here, 10 more single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there should be one more space to go into right beside it, right here. Slip stitch into there. And then we will just take our scissors and cut our yarn. Yarn over and pull through. So this is what we're left with. We have seven double crochets, three half double crochets, and three single crochets. So now we're gonna roll our rows. So before I roll it, I'm just going to place my yarn on my darning needle. So it's ready to go. And we're gonna start on the small end for rolling. So we're just gonna take this very last single crochet petal that we made and we're just gonna start rolling and you just wanna keep that first row together of your chains to make sure that it's nice and straight and even. And you can roll like this if it's easier from the bottom, just wrapping that around. But you just wanna make sure you have all your edge together. Just like that. Now we're going to take our darning needle and we're just going to start going through the bottom and making sure we're grabbing all the different um, layers of petals just to make sure that we're nice and secure. And I like to do this quite a few times just to really ensure that it's secured especially with the end of this outside petal to make sure that it stays down. And then I'm just gonna bring it back over to this other yarn tail once I'm done. And I'm just gonna tie a knot here. And there is your rows all completed. Now once your rose is completed, we're gonna just create the stem so I'm just going to take the green yarn again that I've been using and I'm going to create a slip knot. So once I have my slip knot on for my green yarn, I'm just going to pick a spot on my the bottom of my rows and I'm going to just insert my yarn, my hook, sorry. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through, and I'm gonna pull through to create a slip knot, or a slip stitch, sorry, just like that. So once we're attached here, I'm going to do 46 chains. So yarn over and pull through. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So just complete 46 and I will meet you back here for the leaf. All right, so once we have our 46 chains attached to our rows, we're gonna create our little leaf. So we're going to skip this first chain here. And in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna place our single crochet 
And then in the next stitch, it's going to be a half double crochet. And then a double crochet in the next. And then we'll do three triple crochets in the next three chains. One, two, and three. And then a double crochet and a slip stitch into that same stitch. Now working back up the other side, we'll place a double crochet, three triple crochets, one, two, three, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And then a slip stitch into that stitch there cut our yarn and yarn over and pull through. All right, and that is our leaf completed. So all we have to do is weave in our yarn ends and this rose bookmark is all complete. All right, and those are five different easy to make crochet bookmarks. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Otherwise, we hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.